difficult. Now, what is it? Is it a lack of belief or a lack of skill? Oh, no, look, there's times not everyone would have seen obvious things that we just run able to compete at the level that we need to to be a good AFL team. And it's our skill, you know, our skill broke down at crucial times and, you, and it just puts you out of position so far on the ground that opposition sides just go back through you too easily. And, uh, you know, it's just, to be fair, to, to say that the, the improvement that needs to come into the group and hasn't come into the group thus far, um, it would suggest that there's some people there that are not capable of getting it to where we need it to be, probably. How, how frustrating is it when you, you can play so well in the third quarter, be highly competitive and look like you were going to take the game away from Melbourne? I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's probably a, and, you know, it's a, it's a picture of the year, isn't it? Mm. picture of our season, the times we look like we can, but more often than not we've failed to deliver when we had to. Uh, and that's what tonight looked like, you know, and it's, it's the same as the whole season's looked like. As to be fair, it's uh, crucial times. When we've got our chances going forward or, or hurting the opposition, we've been able to hurt ourselves. Can you say there's players there that aren't capable of, you know, having the skills required to succeed at this level? Possibly, possibly. Poss I mean, we haven't improved, so that's, that's the answer. I think that's yeah. the, the thing is if you, you've got to keep looking at those things and go, OK, we've got to just keep looking for the improvements and... Maybe some are capable of getting it, some, maybe some are not, that's all. Well, over the next two weeks, obviously, you'll get more of a picture. Do you then obviously face some difficult list management decisions at the end of the season? Yeah, correct. At the end of the season, they're decisions that we will have to be looking at. But as every club does, you always look at them at, at the end of the season. They are difficult situations, but you've got to own your position. And our position says that we need to improve our list, and we'll do that at the end of the year. But at this, at this stage, though, do you sort of realise or you know, at least can see that there will have to be some changes to the list if you guys are going to get back? Oh, I'd never, I've never said there'd never be change to your list. There's always, every year there's change. But we, we, all we've said is that now's not the time to make those decisions. Now's the time to play out the last two games and, and look for things that we're looking to improve on and, and see what opportunities are still there in the last two games, and then we'll make those decisions. Do you think, the team, came out flat this, do you think the team came out flat at the start of the game? They just, they just sort of didn't really look very switched on. No, I thought, we, I thought we gave the opposition the ball too much. I thought we had plenty of opportunities uh, early to, to go forward, and then when we had our chance, we seemed to be able to give it back when we are we looked like we were pushing in the right direction, and then Melbourne hurt us on the counter punch. So you've talked about improving skills in the pre-season next year. Can that come soon enough for you? Um, got no choice. It's coming at the time it's coming, and we just got to deal with it and um, own it. Be be prepared to look at it really closely at the end of the year. Let's let's not miss anything and make sure that we're prepared to go go into the space of whatever it is that we can do to improve ourselves. We have to do. Can you get it? answer as to why they've lost their dare, the way in which they will try to run forward and then stop, put a handball behind them? Second guessing, Rooch, yeah. I reckon, because of the mistakes. It takes, away your, it takes away your enthusiasm to challenge the game, I think, and it shouldn't, but it does. You're not sure, you're, un you're uncertain, and when you play football with um, some uncertainty, you end up looking like an average football team. So, so have they become damaged? Are they, are they a damaged group because of that? Oh, well, they've certainly got some, they've got some bruises on them at the moment because of those things. Um, but they're things that they know that they're capable of because we, as I said before, the question before about we show it at times. But let's be honest, it's, it's not enough. We've just got to be better than that. We've got to be a harder football club, a more ruthless football club. For the past couple of years, you've been a team that's been able to score quickly at times, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore. What do you put that down to? Yeah, again, I think we can. I think we do. And I think if you look at the evidence, well, there'll be times where we say, yeah, they still can. Yep. But more often than not, we don't score enough. And the opposition are allowed to score too much. So we end up, mm. we end up losing too many games of football and we end up playing no part in the, the most exciting part of the year. Chad, how serious is that hamstring injury? I would imagine it's, a, well, you've seen the way it happened. It's a significant hamstring. You obviously won't play any more football this year. And it's a pretty good assessment of what's happened to us away from the the game day stuff throughout the year, what's the types of things we've had to deal with are, have been a little bit more than we would have liked. Lost Charlie Dixon as well. It, yeah, lost it. White again today. It's lost White with a fractured cheekbone, or oh, potential fractured cheekbone. Wingard with a hamstring, Heartless ruled out now with a calf. So there's, there's a few, but that's just, that's the footy season and that's what happens. You make your own luck and we've made some bad luck. Is Charlie Dixon okay? He was hobbling a little bit in the second or third quarter and and it just didn't seem to be himself to not... Oh, no, he's, he's given his all as far as um, trying to compete and stuff, but maybe there's a decision there that we have to look at and say, can he actually do everything he needs to do for Charlie to be his player that we want him to be? You know, and, and right now, 
perhaps the, the right thing to do maybe is not to play Charlie. I don't know. We, we'll look at that early in the week. And if, if there's any risk with Charlie going forward, we'll just take that out now. Would you then like to use, I suppose, Jay Schultz and uh, John Butcher in the last two games? I suppose to have more of a look at them to you know, see if they can give you something next season. Yeah, they're pretty obvious answers, I, I would imagine, but I'm not going to answer them tonight. I think I want to get to through tomorrow, through Monday, see where everything's at, not make any silly calls tonight. But, you know, you, you notice that the players struggling a little bit at times. You know, that sometimes happens because of the game too. Can the game that's coming up, the showdown, be enough to do something for that group or...? Are you too damaged now to be able to go into a showdown with any form? No, no, we look forward. The showdowns are always, you know, they're always big in, in the town. Obviously, there's one side that's absolutely on top of their game and you know, probably equal to premiership favourites. And there's a side that's really struggled through the whole of the year. So, But what we do know about showdowns, that come showdown time, they tend to bring a, a crazy game at times. And we look forward to cr hopefully creating that crazy game. Is it dramatic to suggest that some players, it might be decided in the next two weeks whether they stay on the list or not? Accurate. Okay. That's accurate. That's what happens. That's why you don't make decisions now. Yeah. That's why you look at every opportunity and you see what, what are the potentials of some people. Mm. And is that partly not just their, I suppose, physical capability, but just whether they are gelling in the group and whether they're playing the role that you need them to? Oh, and that's, I think it's whether they've got the capabilities to, to help us improve. You know, and sometimes uh, you've got to make some decisions, and you, and you've got to be bold. You've got to be brave with your list management. That's the things that we've talked about. They're the things that you, you can ex look. We're not going to be the only club talking like that, though. You know, we've seen seen some of the the movement already over the last few days. It is going to be a going to be a very active pre-season or sorry list management time of the season, and we will be a part of that. What about Logan Austin? How bad was that hamstring injury that he had? To no, it's more a cork, but that's what happens. You know, you, you're trying to cover one area, we lose Chad, we're one down, we're, we're trying to go up against Gorm with a couple of rucks, then we have to pull one of them away to go to help us down the back end. That's, you know, they're the challenges of an AFL game. And, and Mel look, I, I think you, the side that played, the Melbourne side out there tonight, they're certainly getting in, heading in the right direction themselves, and uh, I'm sure they would have um, come into this game hoping to play the way they did, and unfortunately we weren't able to stop them. So you could expect some next week? Sorry, do you expect Logan to be right for next week, or...? Uh, yeah, at this stage, I would imagine, but I haven't, as I said, been, the only one I'm sure of is Chad. Can you expect some difficult questions that may be posed of you and what the erratic form line does, questions about your coaching? What questions are you asking, I think seeking of yourself? I think they're fair to ask, Rooch. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking the questions. I'm the coach of the club that's been inconsistent. You know, and it starts, with, it starts and ends with me. The questions I ask myself are not that dissimilar every day, though. They're the same sort of questions. Am I doing as much as I possibly can to give this team the best opportunities to be as good as we possibly can? And if I can answer those questions and be honest about them, I'll find room to improve. Uh, but that, that was, it's a two-way street. We all have to do that. We all, all, everyone at the club asks the same questions. I, I won't shy away from saying, you know what, I had some happy times but a long, long time ago mm. and now I'm dealing with some really tough times and I'm, um, I'm going to challenge myself to be a better coach right now. You were really strong some time ago about saying the best thing not to do is chop and change because that's when it doesn't sort itself out. After two years like this, do you now sit back and say, no, something does have to change and maybe you do have to rethink the way you set up this side, you know, the way you set up the game plan, all those I won't things? Go about, I won't change. What I mean, with, I won't go away from what I believe in and what builds strong football clubs. You know, and there's some simple things about that, but within parts of that, there's stuff that you always are looking at. And we have always been looking at the, the possibility to improve um, in all areas of our whether that be ball movement, whether that be defence stoppage, whether that be list management, all those things that everyone asks you about. We will always be looking to improve our football club and it would be foolish and stupid to put your head in the sand and say, we've got it right at the moment uh, and we need to continue to make some small corrections. So, so those things have made Port Adelaide very good in 14. I know it's 14's a while ago. It's a long while ago. Are they still relevant for the way you want them to play in 17? Or yeah, I think so. Or think the whole thing is? No, no, I think, as I said, Rich, it's not as simple as, you know, to sit here and give you a detailed answer yeah. would be, take us forever, I think. But I think uh, overall you need to look for improvement areas and, and we do that all the time and that's no different to the way we play. We're looking for improvement areas and because if you think we can play like we did 13 or 14 to what the game's playing in 16 and 17 and 18, whatever it may be, uh, the game always changes and the challenge is in that all the time. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.